Hey, good morning, people. <clears throat> Mark Holmes here. And welcome to Monday Morning Hangover on a Friday. Down at my in-laws. Because I'm rebuilding the bathroom. Taking the bathtub and making it into a shower. And, um... Why I'm not at home in my man cave. I couldn't sleep last night. My voice is mostly gone. I feel like I've got a cold coming. I feel like shit. Tossed and turned, and my back is killing me. I feel like I've been run over by a truck. <clears throat> and then they backed the truck up over me and ran over again. So I got up, went to get me some coffee. And I wish I had gotten up earlier because the colors were magnificent. And it's the perfect metaphor right here, right now. The last 25 years were like my night at bed last night. In pain from my back being broken. My voice just about gone from yelling. Can't sleep, just restless, just tossing and turning. Just going through all kinds of just crap. Just waiting and waiting till a new day dawns and the sun comes up. But for 25 years, 25 freaking years, the last 10 of which have been Jason Garrett and Jerry Jones. Because we can't just go ahead and say it's Jason Garrett. Because when I go to somebody's house and I have people work for me, when they mess up, when the plumber doesn't, you know, pops a leak or electrical shorts out, they don't go to the electrician. They don't go to the plumber. They go to me because I'm the one that got the job. I'm the contractor. So, if you blame Jason Garrett, you have to blame the man who put Jason Garrett there in charge. As I watched that game last night, it's clear from the body language of Jason Garrett and everybody around him that he is a dead man walking. I said yesterday that this might be a December to remember. Maybe this will be the December we remember that we finally made changes. At this point, I'm done with moral victories. I'm done with, you know, hey, we had a great season. You know, we just fell short. I'm done with just waiting and waiting and waiting. And, you know, he's a good coach. You know, he's the right man for the job. He's not the right man for the job. And, Jerry, you're not the right man to be making those calls either. You're not. The fish stinks from the head on down. All of us Cowboy fans, we've been waiting for the sun to rise. Yet, it seems like perpetual night. You think that we are frickin' Alaska in the middle of winter. That you just see that crest of the sun. You know, you, you've been there for days and days and days with no sun. And then you think, uh-oh, the sky's lightening up. It's lightening up. Today, friends, today we're going to see a sunrise. And you just get that little whip and it's gone. You just get a taste of the sunshine. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know how to try and be positive. But here it is. Three games in a row losses. It seems like it's been forever since I've had the opportunity to talk about a victory. 
And I know what's going to happen today, Jerry. We know what's going to happen because it's already happening with some of the fans and things. Well, we're still in first place. It's even happened with some of the players. Some of the players, yeah, we played terrible, but we're still in first place. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? First place of maybe the historically worst division in football. In first place with a below 500 record. So I guess if you want to be king of the dump, okay, you're king of the dump. You still stink. If somebody told me that three quarters of the way through the season, Dak Prescott would have 4,200 yards, that Amari Cooper would have 1,000 yards, that Zeke Elliott would have 1,000 yards, I'd be like, hey, shit is going good. That shit is going good. But what's clear is, we need a major change. We can't keep going through and just hiring coaches and keeping the same system. Our defense, listen, the Tampa 2 was great in its heyday, but so was the flex defense. But it's gone by. This philosophy of light-ass defensive linemen that can move doesn't work. You can't hold up against the run. The middle is soft, and I mean it is soft. You know what? Bosch and I used to have disagreements on there because I kept saying, you know what? I want a big ass wide body. You mean a trash can full of dirt? Yeah, yeah. You need to start over on the defense. People have figured it out. Your offense has done some great things at times, but you need to figure out what the identity is. And more than anything else, you need a coach who is put in charge, who has the final say on those players on that field. A guy who will put a foot in ass and that he won't be undermined when he does the fact that we have the worst kicker in the NFL who has missed 10 kicks 10 kicks this year the most by any kicker over the last four years add that record to Jason Garrett's resume of all these things that have been just plain shit I take a lot of crap out there being a Dallas Cowboys defender. I know the YouTube blogosphere, you know, people are already sending me video clips where people are, you know, you're not crying, you know, you're, you're, you're not cheering anymore. Or you're crying now, Mark Holmes, this, that, and the other. You know, I take bullets for this team, Jerry. You got to do something to give me some hope that the sun is going to rise. You got to let me know that I'm not going to be in perpetual darkness. That sometime before I leave this earth, that we got a chance, just a chance, to win a Super Bowl. You got to let me know. That you are working hard to win a Super Bowl. Not just be the most talked about team. left me standing out in the cold too long Jerry waiting for the sun to rise and I can guarantee you I'm not the only Dallas Cowboy fan that feels this way
I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I got to go get to work. Some of us have to actually earn our job. Hopefully the sun will rise at some point. I'll see you guys.